Hello, I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez with your solar eclipse forecast. We are expecting changes in our weather pattern as we go into the next couple of days. A stationary front is going to become draped across southeast Texas, and that's going to bring the chance for some rain showers as well as some cloud cover across the Lone Star State. You're able to see that path of the total eclipse and also the storm prediction center is giving portions of Texas under a slight risk for severe weather portions from Houston to Huntsville under that level two out of five. So definitely something to keep an eye on as we go into Monday, but looking likely that we're going to see some of those lighter showers. Here's a look at what we're expecting to see starting on Monday morning when that eclipse occurs. We're going to see mostly cloudy skies and then once we get closer towards around 12, 1220 is when that eclipse will begin. This is what the sun will look like from the Houston area. We're going to start seeing the moon shadow coming into obstruction the sun's view. We're still going to see cloud cover, but that maximum eclipse is going to be occurring at 140 in the afternoon and see how much sunlight is coming in. So even though we're going to be dealing with cloudy skies and we're going to still see some isolated showers, we very well could see changes in the amount of daylight that we see, even though we're going to be dealing with some overcast conditions. And then once we get closer towards 2 3 o'clock, the moon shadow will be making its way out of the sun's view. And then the clips will finally be ending at 3 p.m. And then things will be back to normal. We're still going to be cloudy. Isolated showers are expected. But for other cities, still looking likely that we're going to see mostly obstructed view of clouds and rain, especially in the Austin area, San Antonio, Waco dealing with some of that cloud cover. And then as we get closer towards uh, northeast Texas, even portions of uh, Arkansas and Missouri, recent weather models are showing that we very well could see some clearing, especially in and around Indiana, Ohio. So folks in Muncie, Jefferson, Union City, Ohio could see some of the uh, impacts of this eclipse as they are in the path of totality. And as we've been saying for the past few days, the best place to be the state of Maine, as they're going to be seeing mostly sunny skies, no cloud cover. That's the place to be as we head into the next couple of days. So officially here in Houston, highs in the upper 70s, 40% chance of showers. It's going to be cloudy. Winds out of the southwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour, but just because you see this rain chance and that cloud cover, we very well could see changes in the amount of daylight that we see as we get closer towards that maximum eclipse, which is going to be around uh, 140. So seven day forecast temperatures in the 80s. We're going to be a little bit on the cooler side. I'll think so that rain and cloud cover for Monday and also that increasing uh, severe weather threat is going to be in store for Tuesday and Wednesday. So next week looking like a typical spring week here across Texas and across Southeast Texas. As uh, we head into the start of next week, we'll start seeing the threat for uh, some of those stronger storm activity for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And then eventually the sun will return by Thursday, Friday, and then we will see those highs live on the cooler side with the uh, overnight lows in the 50s, highs in the lower 80s.